Rackets. Let's do our star jumps. Let's ah. one, two, three, three ah. four, ah. five, six, seven, faster, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. <laughs> you broke your record, all right. Do you want to do some more? No. Do you want to do some more star jumps? And break your record again? No. <laughs> now, who can get one ball and put it by the number one? Okay, can you show me? me? One ball. Where's the number one? Two stones for the number two. Well done. Now what comes after the number two? Yes, and you can count them as you put them down. Two. And you need one more to make a three. And three, well done. And now we need four stones for the number four. Is this it? That's the number four, well done. And then can you four. count? One. Well, I, I okay, you can put the water down. Two. Three. <laughs> and four, well done. Good job. And stone person, you've done a great job, you guys. Yeah. So those are your numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, Let's, and seven. Let's water these plants. Okay, now we can water the plants. Well done, girl, thank you. Now we can water these plants. Yes, you can. So we've got to get all the purple balls inside the box and then bring them back and put them in the bucket. I want to do that. Oh, okay, you can do that one. Right. Ready? Oh, no, that's, that's a big green ball. We're going to run to that box with the unicorn and we're going to get all the purple balls and we're going to bring them back into the bucket. 
Right, ready? Yes. Steady? Go! Go get the purple balls! Go get the purple balls! Just one at a time or two at a time. Yay! Woohoo! Yeah! Whew, whew, that's hard work. Oh, it's okay. Let her bring whatever color she thinks is purple because she's still learning, remember? That's a yellow one and that's a green one. That's a purple one. Yay, well done. Can you pick up two next time? Yay! Yeah! You're going very fast! Yay! Woohoo! <laughs> Yay! Good job! You're going very fast! Wow! Don't forget we're getting purple balls! Purple balls! Purple, yay! <laughs> yeah, you got three! Wow, well done! You got four! Wow, that's a lot! Ooh. Yay! Good job! Good job, girls! Good job, well done! Yeah, one last time! Wow, I, oh wow, those are loads! That's your last one because I think you picked up all the purple balls, did you? Yeah! Yeah! Good job! High five, high five, high five! Okay, last one then! Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Good job! Well done! Good job! Wow! Yay! That was hard work! High five! Yay! Good job! And let's leave him in the bucket. And let mommy come over there. Right, let's have a look at those balls. That's a lot of balls in there. Shall we see if we can count them? Yeah. Why don't we count all the blue ones? How many blue ones are there? One. One. Two. Mm -hmm. Three. Two. Five. Are there any more blue ones? So we've got five blue balls. <coughs> Shall we count the red ones? No, oh, they're going back in. Let's count these red ones. No, don't put any more in. We're just counting the ones you picked up already. But we can get more. Okay. Ball. Yes, balls. They're for carrying carrots. They're for carrying carrots? No. They're for either for carrying How many rings do you think you can get on your fingers? Oh. One. <laughs> oh, yeah. No. Yes. Oh. Yes. Oh. 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 One. Two. Three rings, wow. That's beautiful. Go. You want some rings too? Got some. Yes, you've got some oat cake. Oat cake. No. <gasps> no more rings. Yes, she can also try and get some rings on her fingers. 
How many rings can you get on your fingers? Oh, one. One. Side. Side. Outside. Okay, go outside. This is the door. Uh, What comes after four? Six. One, two, come from one. One. Two. You count, not mummy counting, you count. I can't. Yes, you can. You can count all the way to 20. One. Mm -hmm. Two. Mm -hmm. Three. Five. Five, yes, well done. I can't believe you forgot to count to five when you can count to 20. Yeah. Yes, you both can. Yeah. Um, so how many rings do you think you had on your fingers? One. You had five. Yeah. So how many fingers does that mean you have on one hand? If you put five rings onto your hand, then it means you have five fingers on that hand. I think if we count to the other hand, you might also be very surprised as to how many fingers you had on that hand too. How many fingers do you think you have on the other hand? You counted that hand. Two, three, four, five. Yes, so how many is on the other hand? Count the other hand. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Yes. So you have five fingers on that hand as well. Yay! So you have five fingers on each hand. Oh, we're learning something new every day, aren't we? Well done, sweetie. Thank you for counting for mummy. Let's play a game in our house. Yeah, we're going to play a game in our house. Very fast. Right, this is very important. Are you listening very carefully? Yeah. Are you ready for this challenge? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. I want you to tell me how many times I have to blow this balloon to fill it up. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six times? Yeah. Okay, let's see. You count with me. Count it for me actually because I'm not able to count. Right. You ready? One, two, three, four. It's four! It took four counts. You were very close. It took four counts and my air's coming out. My air's coming out. It's coming out. Let's see if we can. Oh, it's gone! Now it's flat again. How many times do you think I need to blow it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine! Nine times? Okay, I'll do very small blows then. Nine times. Very small ones. So you can count for me, okay? Ready? Yeah. One.
How many times do you think mommy needs to blow this? is just long and octopus is round. But Daddy Puppet. So, yes, Daddy oh. Puppet is longer, but he's not as big. Because look, octopus has more width. But he's he... rounder than Daddy Puppet. But he can reach to his head. Yes, he can. But if we're going to get boring, the diameter of octopus is bigger than daddy's diameter. So daddy doesn't go as wide as octopus. He go lower. <laughs> He's smaller. Daddy, he can. 
He can sit next to Octopus, yes? Right, so Shaggy Baggy Monkey, I want you to do a little fun exercise with me and see how many hands long Shaggy Baggy Monkey is. Now, if you don't have a ruler, we can use your hands as a ruler. So, we'll count your hands, we'll get a ruler and we'll measure your hands. So, we'll count the distance from here to your longest finger, which is your longest finger. This one. Put them all out together. Put them all out together, just like this. So, which is your longest finger? Put them flat. You don't have to bend them. Put them flat. Which is your longest finger? This one. Yes, it is. So, we'll count the distance between, you can put them out, don't worry, you don't have to just bring one finger up. So it'll come the distance between that point and that point on each hand, okay? Okay. So now I want you to walk your hands up Shaggy Baggy Monkey. Let me show you. Like this. One hand. Just next to Shaggy Baggy Monkey. Two hands. So Shaggy Baggy Monkey is nearly three hands on Mummy. But how many hands is he on you? Let's start this side. You come this side and I'll help you do it. So one hand goes down by his feet. And here, over here. One hand goes down. One hand. And put another hand. Two hands. And put another hand. Three hands. And four forward. And four hands. And a tiny little bit of one hand to get to the top of Shaggy Baggy Monkey's head. A tiny little bit of one hand. So Shaggy Baggy Monkey is four hands and a little I'm bit of bigger. your hands. You are bigger than Shaggy Baggy Monkey. That's very well observed. Yeah. <laughs> Someone needs his foot. Can you find a lemon? Yeah. Where's the, yes, the lemon is there, but can you find a lemon over there? This looks like this. The lemon goes like that. Here. Le and this goes here. Remember, you have a kite. So the kite has to go next to the lemon because it's got a little old yellow bit over there. So it goes next to the lemon. It has to fit in like that. That's it. You put the lemon over here, the kite over here, next to the lemon. And you do that. Yeah. Where's the rocket? You're going to put the rocket in. With an onion in. Remember, you lift it up. Now push it in. Yay! And for Celeste, we've got an octopus. Where's you? Now we have b b balloons. Let's go. Can you see them? Remember, it's A, B, C, D, and A is over there. Yeah. And that's B for balloon. Well done. There we pop kitty cat into there. J -j 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 -jum. This goes here. Yes. And here are p -p pencils. Here they go. Well done, and I think. A, B, C, D, E, F, 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 F G, G, H, I, J, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, P Q, Q, R, S, S T, Today we are doing a lucky dip, so no one knows what's inside here. Yes, and you both want to know, don't you? Wait a minute, wait a minute. So here are the rules of the game. You put your hand through the hole, but before you take your hand out, you have to guess what you're holding. 
and then you bring it out and you put it in front of you and we see if you were right or wrong. Who wants to start? Me. Glasses. <laughs> okay. You said glasses, she said me. So you can start. So put your hand in through the hole and hold on to something. What do you think you're holding? <laughs> you're holding a little fish. That's a little dory fish. So let's put dory fish over there next to you. Right, it's your turn. Right, put your hand inside. Don't look. What do you think you're holding? Oh, you're holding a ball. Let's put your little bouncy ball over here. Now, look, let me just show you. You put your hand in and then you say, I think I'm holding a potato or something. And then you pull it out. Yeah? So you have to guess when your hand is inside. So it's your turn. Yeah, again. Mm -hmm, again. No, you can't look, you can't look. It's a surprise. So put your hand in. Put your hand in. Put your hand in. What do you think you're holding? <laughs> you're holding a dinosaur. So you've got a dinosaur, which wasn't your turn. We'll put dinosaur over here. Bouncy yes. ball. Yes, dinosaur and a bouncy ball. You have to keep your eyes closed. What's that? <laughs> That's a piggy. Yeah, well done. You can put piggy next to fish. All right, so we've reversed the direction. So you can go next. What do you think you're holding? <laughs> a little teether. Yeah. You used to chew on that a lot. Teether. Yes, it's a teether. And now you chew on it and you eat it. So that's why it looks like this, right? So your turn next. Put your hand in. What do you think you're... Uh, uh, no eyes, no looking, no looking. What do you think you're holding? <laughs> balloon froggy. What a good pig because you both love balloon froggy, don't you? <laughs> your hand in and close your eyes. What do you think you're holding? A spoon! <laughs> okay, last one then, please, me. Hand in, no peeking. What do you think you're holding? A brush. A brush! Yay! Well done, girls! You got so many things from your lucky dip. Now, shall we count how many things you got from your lucky dip? Yeah. Let's start with yours. You got one. Count with mummy. Two. Three. Four. You got four things from your lucky day. No. Yes. Three. The spoon is yours. No. No. Yes, they're all yours. Don't worry, so we can give them to you. And keep them on your lap. Now, how many t things did you get? Um, you got? One, two, three, four. four. So you have four things, and you have four things. Now how many things do you think we got together? Um, Shall we count them together? Yeah. Oh. One, two, three, four. Oh. oh dear me! Off he 
buzzers. Bzz, 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 bzz. And now there are only two, three, four busy bees with Winnie the Pooh. Hi, Anno. Hi. And what do you have over there? What do you have in your hands? A rectangle. You have a rectangle. Can you hold it on both sides so we can see it? Hold the paper on both sides. That's perfect. That's a lovely rectangle. So, how many sides does a rectangle have? Do you know? One, two. How many is that? One, mm -hmm. two. There's a few more on the other side. So count all the corners. You're counting right angles right now. So how many right angles does it have? One, mm -hmm. two, mm -hmm. three, mm -hmm. four. Yes, it's got four right angles. And remember what letter a right angle looks like. What letter does it look like? You were writing the letter. The letter L. Yeah. It looks like a capital L. L, 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 L is the corner my, that makes a right angle. My, it's up high. It is up high. Your it's rectangle flying. is flying up high. But what we're going to do today, we're going to find rectangles around the house, starting with the kitchen. So. You tell mummy where you can see a right angle. Let's go. Yeah. Right, so you can show me where your first right angle is. There's a right angle over here. So this door, which is very, very high, is a big rectangle. Well done. That is a very big rectangle. Very good. Do you see any other rectangles in this room? In the kitchen, in the kitchen, in the kitchen. Let's, let's stay in the kitchen. Do you see any other right angles in the kitchen? Any rectangles in the kitchen? <gasps> There's another door over there. Yes, and that's a rectangle. Well done. So the doors are rectangles. Do you see any other rectangle in the kitchen? Do you see maybe behind you? Yeah! yeah! There's lots and lots of rectangles in those doors, isn't there? So those doors have four liz or four right angles and that makes them rectangles. <laughs> and do you see another one? Yeah. Have a look around the kitchen. Which one? Which one? And tell me the name. That one. What's that one? It's uh, another that Okay, but what's the name of it in real life? Is it the door? Is it the picture? What are you looking at? It's a door! Yes, so all the doors in this room anyway are all rectangles. So we have the door to the boiler, we have the door to the cupboards, we have the door to under the kitchen sink. All those doors are all rectangles. Uh, but I didn't choose it. Yes, but they're all the doors, so all the doors are re rectangles in this room anyway. But let's find more. Okay, can you tell me about the stove? Is the stove got any rectangles? Can you see any rectangles in the stove? Yeah! Does the stove have rectangles? Yeah! Which ones are they? <laughs> okay, the two sets of ovens are rectangles. Right, let's go have a look for some more. Yeah. <gasps> that's the door to outside. And that's got a rectangle, yes. This door, yes, there's lots and lots of doors and they're all lots and lots of rectangles. Can you see any more rectangles? Where's the rectangle? Yes, this door is a rectangle. That's right. What um, else do you see? Uh, you can also look at your toys and see if you can spot any rectangles. Yes, you can tell mommy where. Look 
at all your toys. Look around at all your toys and all the shapes on your toys. And even the shapes of the toy boxes, which I see you very neatly emptied. <laughs> what are you pointing at? What do you see? Rectangle. Yes, your toy boxes are rectangle. That's good. And what else is a rectangle? Hmm. That's also a rectangle. So the floor on your doll's house and, oh, maybe you won't say. <laughs> so I'm not giving you any clues. So the floor in your doll's house is a rectangle. That's right. And what else do we see? Do you remember your chalkboard? What shape is that? What shape is your chalkboard? Rectangle. Come. Okay. Where are we going to go? Rectangle. <laughs> yes. The doors are rectangles. Well done. So you spotted that the doors are rectangles. Very good. Right. We'll have another little hunt around and Mummy will help you this time, okay? And then we can spot, see if we can spot some more rectangles around the house everywhere. Okay? Oh, no. Right. Come in here. No, come and say bye-bye to your friends. Bye-bye. See you later. See you later. <laughs> bye. Thank you, sweetie. Turn it around. Turn it around some more. Maybe you have the right one. Turn it around. Turn this one around. Turn it around. And go show her. Well done. And there's a triangle left. Six dinosaurs. 
seven, eight. So shall we count how many dinosaurs together? Yeah. Count with mummy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine. No, you counted them the one, two times. Let's put them one in a row. So you can hop on their backs as you count them. Let's see if they will, will they all stand up? Very hard to make this one stand. That one was a hard one. Hard one, sweetie. All right, let's count the dinosaurs. Oh, yes, that one fell. Let's catch over here. One, two, three. Oh, they keep falling. Okay, let's just lie them on their sides because if they're not falling, somebody might be throwing them on their sides. Let's count the dinosaurs together. And we have one. Oh, uh, that one not. Now they've all got to be on their sides today. Okay, right. <laughs> I didn't understand the rules. Right, let's count all the dinosaurs while taking a nap. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. eight. We have eight dinosaurs. High five! Good job. Good counting. Do you want to count with mommy? Sleep. Yes, they're all sleeping. Okay, so let's count quietly so we don't wake them up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You skipped a few dinosaurs. Let's count slowly. Loud. Oh. So count them slowly and touch each one each time. One, one two, three. three. You're skipping one. Count loud, count loud so we wake them up with your big voice. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You skipped one again. <laughs> count them slowly. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight dinosaurs! Yeah. Oh, good job! And which dinosaur is the sneakiest of them all? They're awake! You want to count again? Okay, come and count them again. Now they're up. All the dinosaurs are awake. I need a bottle of milk. today is a little experiment can you put that car through that hole will it fit you can bring it closer to yourself well uh... oh well that will not fit yeah. and then just push it through that's what I'm saying don't squash those All right let me try um, let me try <laughs> it doesn't fit. Oh dear me. No. Car, car. Yeah. Yeah. But it doesn't come out. Oh, it doesn't come out. Oh dear. So yeah, it's too small for yours. Push it. You have to push it. Alright, give it some oh there you go. Yeah, if you push it it comes through. Yeah, try. There you go. Yeah. And shake it out. Yours did, but you have to give it a push and a shove. Mom. <laughs> uh, 
Yours needs something a bit bigger. I'm not, I couldn't figure out what other roles to get. I know, we can do a made up roll. Open, open car. No, the car doesn't open, it's just for pushing. Now, can you take your dinosaurs and fit them through? Go! Mine will fit. Yay! Through the tunnel. I'm going to stand up too. Car. Yes. Oh no. Car. I'm going to stand up too. Car. So is the person in the mirror the same as the person who's outside? Yeah. Not good. Are you smiling in the mirror? Mm. Not good. Not good. Not good. Yes, there are jackets up there. You're right. No yogurts up there. They're jackets. No, no you yogurts. Can't quite say j. She's still growing up and learning. But oh, yes, there are jackets up there. Yogurt. So. The jackets that you see up there in the mirror are up here as well. It's the same jacket, isn't it? But the one in the mirror is not exactly the same. And that's called a reflection. So it means a mirror lets you see something that's outside, but it's the opposite and it's only a reflection. So can you touch what's in the mirror? Can you pull it out? No, you can't. You're going to try and touch the person in the mirror? If you smile, what does the person in the mirror do? Is she smiling? If mummy tickles you, what happens to the person in the mirror? Ah, she runs away. Tickle, 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 tickle. Ah, the person in the mirror also gets tickled and runs away. The person in the mirror also gets tickled. Tickle, 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 tickle. <laughs> so the person in the mirror is also ticklish. Tickle, 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 tickle. The person in the mirror is also ticklish. How does that work? Tickle, 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 tickle. The money in the mirror is also tickling. tries to tickle you in the mirror. Come stand in the mirror. I tried to tickle you in the mirror. Oh, you're not laughing. Tickle, 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 tickle. You're not laughing. But you are exactly the same person, so it means you out here, you are the original person, and the one in the mirror is just a reflection. You're not a reflection, you're very ticklish. You're very ticklish out here. You're very ticklish out here. Yes, you're very ticklish. Oh, you're very ticklish. Oh. Oh. <laughs> wow, but the person in the mirror is not ticklish. I'm going to tickle some people in the mirror. Do you want to come close to the mirror and let me show you I'm going to tickle? Am I going to tickle you? Am I going to tickle? Tickle, 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 tickle. Huh? You're not laughing though. Oh. <laughs> Yes, it's hot. Tickle, 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 tickle. Yes, it is a bit hot. Yeah. But yes, so that's how mirrors work. So the person, it's oh, it's warm. Yeah. The person in the mirror is the same person as you, but that is just a reflection of you. So there's only one you. There's not two yous. 
There's only one person outside and the other person is a reflection with a very long tongue who's now eating something in her mouth which mummy doesn't know what it is. Thank you. means they're exactly the same. So they're the same size, they're the same shape, they're just different colours. That's all. Uh, you're choosing the blue one. The blue one is an empty one, so if you put the blue one down here and then we put this one here, Mummy's going to ask you a question. If I put the water in here into the blue one, do you think it's going to fill it up or there's going to be too much or there's too little? Exactly the same size. Ah, oh, ah, ah, okay, let's put it in and see. Alright, so let's put that in and have a look. Ooh. It's exactly the same. Now we're going to this is gonna be a bit more tricky. If I put the water into this one, have a look at it. Do you think it's going to be more or too little? Too little. Too little, right? That's a good guess. Let's have a look. Yeah! This one is too little to fill this kettle up. So, we're learning that even though they have round shapes, they can be different yes. different volumes. You put this one in. Yeah, so if I take the water from here, this is even more tricky, and I put it into there. Do you think it's going to be too much or too little? Too little. Too little for this cup? Yeah. Or too much for the cup? Too much. Too much for the cup. So, we'll end up with water in our... Oh, I've got a yeah, okay, we can put it to that one as well. So if this fills up, then we can fill up yours as well, sweetie, okay? And there you go. <gasps> wow, it's exactly the same amount! Yay! And it's nice and warm. Now, if we take this water and we put it into this jug, do you think it's going to be too much for the jug or too little? Will it fill up the jug or will there be some left over? So lift up. Some left over? Yeah. Okay. Well, I think there'll be some space left over. Sorry, you know what I mean. And yes, that doesn't fill up the jug at all because that cup was much smaller than this big jug. But now you guys can do your own experiments with measuring. I'll get you some more water, okay? Can you count how many blue ones there are? One. Just move them aside like that. One, two. Count the first row of blue ones. These ones up here, where mummy is. So can you count the first yeah. row of blue ones? Two. Da. Da. Me. Da. No, it's okay, da. sweetie. Four. Yeah. Keep going. Those are different hands. Yeah, those are four. So let's start them together. Hold on, let's start them together. Let's count how many blue ones we've got. Remember, we move them aside as we count. So, count with mummy. One. Count with mummy. Two. Okay, you go ahead and move them and you can count them. Three. Four. Keep counting. Uh, Count for me. Bob. Bob. Dot. Dot. All of them. How many? Dot. One, two, three, four, five. How many? So remember when you're counting, you have to move like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then you know how many you have, but you have to move them one at a time carefully. Yeah, it's more 
already has numbers inside it. See some numbers with mummy? No. <laughs> okay. okay. of a Halloween yeah. pizza. Green yeah. and black. We make it all the colours. Yes, we do wow. to make a rainbow colour. A rainbow pizza? Yeah. Wow. And a rainbow sausage. These are rainbow sausages. And inside this thing is pink and amanda and, and green amanda birthday cake it's a birthday cake now is it i thought it was a pizza a minute ago it's, it's a rainbow cake hmm. rainbow cake we don't need that anymore no. Like zoo. Now we.
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Plate is over there. Do you want to come with mummy? There's a little spot in there. Yeah, there's a little spot in the six. Um, yeah. That's because it didn't pop yeah. up properly. Yeah. One, mm -hmm. two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. nine. Yeah. Right, can you two girls tell mummy how many girls are in this room? One, two. There's two girls? Yeah. Well done! And can you tell mummy how many hands do you have? Three. One, two. Yeah, you have two hands. Right. One, two. Two. Yes, you have two hands each. Yay! And can you tell mummy? How many eyes do you have? One, two. Well done! And One. how many ears do you have? One, two. Yeah, two ears. Yes, well done. Yeah. Now here's a very hard one. And we were singing this earlier, if you remember. Yeah. How many fingers do you have on one hand? Three. One, two, three, four, five. Why? Yeah! Five fingers on one hand! Yay! Very good counting, oh. sweetie. And now, how many noses do you have? One. One nose? Yeah. Yes, and one cute little nose each. Even though sometimes those noses are little mountains. <sighs> uh, let's see. Who can count to ten? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. eight, eight, eight. Ten. <laughs> ten. Yes, you kind of skipped a bit because I think Fungai was doing her own counting there. But so ten. seven, eight, nine, ten. 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 Nine.